three five multiplying monomials. When we are multiplying monomials or single terms that have um, variables and exponents or variables that are raised to powers, we have to add those powers. So if we have coefficients, we multiply those. If we have powers, we add those. So if we look at example one, we're simplifying. For a, we have x to the third power times x to the fifth power. So we're going to keep the x and add the exponents. So if we do the 5 plus 3, we get x to the power of 8. For b, we have b to the 7th times b to the 4th power. So we're going to keep the b and the 7 and the 4 are going to add together to give us b to the power of 11. Next, we have y to the 5th power times y to the 3rd power. So we're going to keep the y and we're going to add the 5 and the 3 to get y to the power of 8. For example, 2, we now have coefficients to those variables. So the 3 and the 4, we're going to have to multiply together. And then the n to the second power times n to the fourth power, we're going to keep the n and add those exponents. So we're going to do 3 times 4, keep the n, add the exponents. So the 3 times the 4 is 12, keep the n, the 2 plus the 4 gives us 6, so that's 12n to the power of 6. For three, example three, we have negative three a cubed b squared times five a b to the power of four. Now this negative three and this five are gonna multiply together. And then the a is gonna stay. We have an exponent of one on the five a b to the fourth. So we're gonna add the three and the one for the a for their powers. And then with the b, we're gonna add a two and a four. So the negative three times five is negative 15. Keep the a. 3 plus 1 is 4, keep the b, 2 plus 4 is 6, so that's negative 15, a to the 4th power, b to the 6th power. For example 4, we have 20x squared y all over 3 times 12x cubed y to the 5th power all over 5. So if you remember when you're multiplying fractions, if you can cross simplify, you can. In this case, the 5 and the 20 have a common factor of 5, so the 5 can become a 1, the 20 can become a 4. The 3 and the 12 share a common factor of 3, so the 3 would become a 1 and the 12 would become a 4. So this would turn out to be 4x squared y times 4x cubed y to the 5th. Remember, the exponent on that y that doesn't have a, a power is an invisible 1. So when we go to multiply these, the 4 times the 4 will multiply together. The x squared times x to the third power will be x squared plus the third power. And then we have y to the first power plus the fifth power. So this is going to give us 4 times 4, which is 16, x to the fifth power, y to the sixth power. For example, 5, we now have multiplication within addition. So we have to multiply before we add. If we have like terms, we'll add after we multiply. So if we look at the 3x to the 4th y to the 6th times negative 2x squared y, we are going to do the 3 times the negative 2, keep the x, add the exponents, so it's going to be 4 plus 2, keep the y, add the exponents, so it's going to be 6 plus 1. Okay, on the other side of that plus sign, we are going to have 8 times x cubed y to the second times x cubed y to the fifth. So the x is going to, or sorry, the 8 is going to multiply with a 1 because the coefficient to the x cubed y to the fifth is, in, is the invisible 1. Then we're going to keep the x, add the 3s, keep the y, add the 2 and the 5. So we have two separate multiplication expressions within this addition problem. So, work side by side. The 3 times the negative 2 is negative 6. The x stays. 4 plus 2 is 6. y stays. 6 plus 1 is 7. Keep the addition in between the two. The 8 times 1 is 8. x to the third plus the third is x to the sixth. And the y is going to be y to the Seventh. So now look at these, see if they're like terms. Do we have an x to the 6th, y to the 7th on both of these terms? Yes. So you can combine those coefficients. The negative 6 plus the 8 is going to be a positive 2. Keep the x to the 6th, y to the 7th. 
If we look at some of these extra practice problems, for 1, we have x squared times x to the 5th power, which is x to the 7th. For 5, we have 2s times 5s, that's going to be 10s squared. For 9, we have 2x squared th times 3x cubed, so this is going to be 6x to the 5th power. For 13, we have 5x to the 5th power y times 3x squared y squared, so this is going to be 15 x to the seventh, y to the third. Remember that y has an invisible exponent of one. For 17, we have x squared y cubed times x cubed y. So again, we're gonna keep the x, add the exponents, be x to the fifth, keep the y, add the exponents, y to the fourth. For two, we have t to the fourth times t to the third, that's t to the seventh. For six, the three t times four t is 12 t squared, oops. For the 10, we have 4x to the 4th and times 5x to the 5th. So 4 times 5 is 20x to the 9th. The 14, we have 4y to the 6th power z times 2yz to the 4th power. So the 4 times 2 is 8y to the 7th power, z to the 5th power. For 18, r squared s squared times 2rs cubed is going to be 2r cubed s to the fifth power. And then we have y squared times y times y cubed, which is going to be y to the sixth power. ab squared times a squared b is going to be a cubed b cubed. 2ab cubed times a cubed b is going to be 2a to the fourth power, b to the fourth power. The negative 3s times 7s squared is going to be negative 21s to the third power. The negative t cubed times negative t to the third power, you got to figure this one out. So this 3 goes to both. This is going to be a negative t cubed. So when we multiply those together, it's going to become a positive t to the sixth power. For 4, you have c times c to the sixth power times c to the third power. So this is going to be c to the tenth power. 8, you have x squared y times xy cubed. So this is going to be x cubed y to the fourth. 12 is 3mn times mn to the fourth power, so it's going to be 3m squared n to the fifth power. For 16, we have negative c cubed times negative 3c squared, so a negative times a negative is a positive. It's going to be a positive 3c to the fifth power. And then for 20, we have negative x squared times negative x to the second power. So again, it goes to both of them. It's going to become a positive x squared times negative x squared. It's going to be a negative x to the fourth power.